For most Ohioans, barns are merely a quaint reminder of Ohio's rural heritage. But for some, these cathedrals of the Midwest are much more than a photo opportunity. They are a chance to breathe new life into a living piece of American history. I think it's vital to preserve barns in Ohio. Barns are the embodiment of the virgin forests that settlers first found when they came to this state. Those virgin trees are now the frames of our barns and will not see their like again. They also are sort of a sense of identity. We don't even know how many barns we have in Ohio, let alone how many we're losing on a daily basis. And unfortunately, we don't have an Ohio barn grant program at the present. However, that's not to say that uh, there is no hope. Ohio State Professor Ann Christie isn't simply interested in preserving barns for the sake of stewardship. In fact, she calls this 130-year-old barn in Liberty, Ohio, her home. I think it was Woody Hayes that talked about pay forward. It's a taking a barn and preserving it, using it, enjoying it, and passing it on to the next generation in as good, if not better shape than when I received it. Personally, it reaffirms those wonderful childhood memories of myself and my cousins playing in our family barn, which is no more. And even today, when not just my property, the farmhouses may be crumbling, may have been completely gone, like here, but the barns still stand tall. They're built with a structural integrity that myself as, a, as an engineer can only marvel at. Um, lots of extra safety factors, shall we say, that we probably would never do today, and yet they did it back then because it was meant to last. It was a legacy to their children and their grandchildren and to us. For those interested in preserving a barn but are not sure where to start, the program Barn Again can help. Barn Again is a network of barn enthusiasts who are determined to make sure that barns dot the Ohio countryside for the next generations to enjoy. I got uh, involved and I found it a wonderful uh, part of what I do now on a daily basis. Take phone calls from people, emails, asking about barns and how to find a contractor who help, help them fix it up, how to find these tax incentive information. The comfort and warmth afforded by a renovated barn can be home base for industrious Ohioans to contribute to their community in surprising ways. For Kelly Culler of Waldo, Ohio, a unique business opportunity arose when she realized that people wouldn't mind sleeping in her barn. From the broad side of her barn at Walnut Glen bed and breakfast, guests can enjoy a rustic home away from home. We have been pleasantly surprised, overwhelmed at times by the response. Uh, I am booked uh, four out of seven nights a week, typically, and now that summer is approaching, uh, my bookings have gone up where I, I could be booked almost every night if I have wanted to. Um, I turn business down. People are seeking that place to get away from their busy lives. They're seeking that kind of sanctuary, and uh, they find it here at the barn. In central Ohio, the community of Westerville has found several uses for the historic Everill Barn. Thanks to the Parks and Recreation Department, this exceptional example of 19th century farm architecture is now available for weddings, receptions, corporate outings, and family reunions. A restored 1890s Victorian-style barn, Averill Barn is listed in the National Register of Historic Places. Breathing new life into an old barn sometimes involves extensive renovation. When we moved here, it was a home to raccoons. The, the neighbor's dogs ran in and out of it. Uh, and it was just a mess. Heard all sorts of stories about the parties, wild and otherwise, that took place in the barn. A lot of people from Marion just have really good memories of the barn. And that's nice for us because we think that we're, we're continuing to create that tradition of good memories for people in the barn and making it a really welcoming place. Just standing here, amongst the, the hand-hewn beams 
It has almost a cathedral-like feel about it, just a peaceful sense of space. My parents thought I was insane. <laughs> Why don't you get a nice house in a suburban subdivision? You don't have to build it from scratch. But uh, this has been a good project, and it has turned into professional opportunities for me also, which I've really found enjoyable. So I'd do it again. Although barns can be adapted for modern farming purposes, the attitude that they are obsolete is causing barns all over Ohio to disappear at an alarming rate. If more is not done to protect these handsome relics, Ohio's countryside will look much different. We felt that one of the things that we were accomplishing by renovating part of the barn was preserving that history and that heritage, not only for our children, but for generations of people to come. Why preserve barns? Why preserve these symbols? Because I believe ethically it's the right thing to do. It's not just honoring our ancestors who put their life's blood and sweat and time into making these magnificent uh, buildings, but it's also ethical in that we're using the resources we've been given and being good stewards of these cathedrals of the Midwest, shall we say, that can, if properly taken care of, outlive us and maintain that legacy, pass that legacy on.